if you look how banks uh, are required to store the data for so many years because of audit purposes, uh, they have all the knowledge, all the experience in their data. And so it's, it's pretty straightforward to think about how to use that data and, and, and use that data to uh, create experience from that data. And machine learning is the, is the right thing to do. So um, if you think about ex the exception management process, for example, our, our clients, and we have, you know, we have lots of, we have more than 1,500 banks working with our products, and they all use more or less our exception management software, and they run processes how they handle exceptions. And everything is stored for years now. So it's, it's so interesting to apply machine learning and that data, because you can understand how they handle exceptions, and then you can automate exceptions. Whatever you do today, that involves some form of intelligence, you will touch on artificial intelligence, you will touch on machine learning. But to us, it was really not something that we really focused on in the beginning to say that, oh, we want to use AI, or we want to use machine learning. We started with what experience can we create so that the customers will say, yeah, every bank should be like this. And uh, of course, in the end, it, 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 it kind of converged. But you know, I would recommend for most people trying to start on this journey is that you start with the customer and you don't start with the solution and you start the understanding of what the customer wants and what are you going to gravitate uh, your strategy to, what are you going to be known for and what are you going to be differentiated by. And then I think naturally, you know, you can't escape one of these uh, acronyms in the end, but it's much better uh, a strategy when you leave it to the end and when you start with it. In the innovation labs of SmartStream, we are doing several machine learning uh, projects at the moment. Um, so we, ha we do have the reconciliation solution where we looked at different use cases. So we see that there are some big pain points for our customers. One is like the data quality that typically is not so good. If you reconcile bad data quality, you get lost lots of uh, exceptions and machine learning can be nicely used to increase the data quality. And then there's another use case that looks at um, uh, reference numbers and how we can better match reference numbers that do not do not perfectly match. Um, then we have uh, on the cash and liquidity product we, we are looking at predicting balances, predicting data so you can that cash managers can better predict uh, the next day or the next two days. So we had machine learning models specifically trained for that. And in our fee solution, invoices and fee solutions, we see a lot of still paper-based workflows. And paper-based always means a lot of efforts with humans had to type in reference numbers, amounts and currencies. And uh, with machine learning, we can optimize that. I think you're going to see a lot of development uh, in the artificial intelligence area, in machine learning, uh, they're going to get smarter and smarter. Uh, a lot of the routine work uh, is going to be really done by machines in the future. Uh, from a banking perspective, there's a lot of stuff in terms of um, monitoring, in terms of administration, in terms of uh, audit, you know, uh, doing kind of stuff with audit trails. I think all those, a lot of that kind of stuff can be uh, really automated. So one of the big uh, trends is going to be, I think we're going to see a lot more of these kind of replacement. We started that end of last year to look at the first use cases and then we found out that there's really a potential for uh, cost savings and for, um, for more efficiency in our product. So we, we founded the Innovation Lab uh, earlier this year it's a lab where data scientists specifically focused on machine learning and AI technologies look at our products and they reinvent and look at the workflows and so they have the freedom to really uh, innovate in our products. And, and uh, yeah, at the moment we are working on 11 use cases where my data scientists look into the details.